Time now to talk winners and losers on Wall Street. Financial expert Rob Black with us this morning once again. And Rob, as we look across the markets, the Dow not bad, almost up, uh, almost 200 points to the plus side. What are you seeing? Yeah, for the year, the NASDAQ's up 40%, the S&P 500's up over 20%, and the Dow's up about 13%, I believe. That's pretty close. The Russell 2000 small caps and mid caps are also up double digit after being like at 4% just a couple months ago. So we're in a rally mode is what I'm seeing. We're expecting the Fed to cut rates three times next year. Some people are expecting five to six. It kind of is a favorable time of the year where professionals go on long vacations and that leaves the retail investors to say ho, ho, ho and buy their favorite stocks and move the markets higher. So we're melting up, which is nice. Mm. Historically, when we hit new highs, which we just hit on the Dow and we're this close on the S&P 500, we tend to add another 5%. Um, of note, the big uh, business story I saw today that you might find businessy, um, Social Security for next year is going to be up about 3.2% in COLAs, cost of living adjustment. So the average person is going to be about $1,907 a month in retirement. And the person who waits till they're 70, which is what I'm going to do, yeah. gets about $3,822, um, considerably more, almost double. Wow. Now, I feel like that jump of would you say it was 3.2%? Sure. That's that's a smaller number than we've seen here in the past couple of years, right? Yeah, but the last couple of years had higher inflation, so it is adjusted mm -hmm. for inflation. But you're right, seniors are missing out because rents are higher, medical costs are higher, and basic expenses are higher than that 3.2%. So it's not quite a make good year. Right. Last, year, last year was a make good year. Okay, let me ask you before we move on to our first topic. Um, we've reported that Apple is going to have to basically pull a couple of their really popular uh, smartwatches off the shelves or some sort of patent dispute with another company for some sort of a bio reading sensor. What kind of hit do you think that's going to make on the stock, if any? I know a lot of people here in the area probably own Apple stock. Almost none because Apple's going to pull the watch as of December 24th. It's only their two newest watches. They still can sell the SE version. It's the oxygen sensor, which seems to be copying the patent that Massimo has. Look for Apple to change the algorithm, change the software, and that should be their workaround. Historically, that's what they've done. They try not to settle the patent dispute. Historically, they just try to make it look a little a little different so that they can get the patent through the uh, International Trade Committee, uh, Commission. Okay. Um, so no big deal. Next year's gonna be a big year for the Apple Watch. Look for blood pressure sensors to hit the Apple Watch finally. Wow. Okay. Well, hopefully a lot of people will uh, snap up those watches. I know holiday spending, I believe if I read right, is projected to be up this year, right? But yeah. is there some, I, I heard you, you had some mixed news with all of this. Absolutely. Um, there's never right answers. There's only compromises in business. So per person, we're expected to spend about 31%. 31% of us are expected to spend $1,300 or more. So it's going to be a blue Christmas and it's going to be a green Christmas. Um, Elvis likes the blue Christmas. I like the green Christmas <laughs> idea. 66% um, of us have a negative opinion of the economy and yet we're still spending. 32% of us make more money this year than last year, and that's why we're saying we're spending more. 37% say it's just inflation. Same gift costs more money this year, of which 38% of us are gonna spend between $500 to $1,000. 24 of us are gonna spend over $1,000. You should spend about 1.5% of your income on gifts. 3% mm. of Americans are just totally opting out. And I love that. I think Scrooge was the investor god. Mm. Um, because you got to take care of your retirement long before you take care of your friends and family with, with gifts, as I've always said. I, I love it. You practical, pragmatist to the to the core. <laughs> That's what we yeah, love about you. Sad but true. Uh, right. Okay. Well, speaking of spending, uh, this last story kind of blew my mind a little bit. I didn't realize yeah. how much. Zuckerberg is spending each month to try and keep the metaverse afloat as he's trying to make it mainstream and make it a reality. But t tell everybody what the number is, because I found it shocking. Yes, uh, since they've launched in 2022, the Meta Quest 3 or the Meta Quest 2 and 1 mm. have lost a combined $25 billion on just $210 million of sales last year. They lost $3.7 billion in the third quarter. 
on $210 million in sales. So it's still losing a lot of money. I picked up one of the Quest 3 for my kids. They mm -hmm. played it for a week and they've totally ignored it since. Wow. It is way cool. The technology is all that in a bucket of chicken. But VR and AR is contracting for the last two years. Hmm. Uh, but along comes Apple um, in early 2024 with the Vision Pro and that's going to run around $3,500. It's not expected for you and me. It's expected for the developers. Next year at this time, we should be talking about the Vision Pro 2 mm. uh, or the Vision Pro retail version, which will be considerably less. The question is, will the Quest 3 be able to stand up to the Vision Pro? I, I think the technology is there and the games are pretty cool and the virtual reality is pretty immersive. Um, watching videos on YouTube through the Quest 3, it, it's a pretty neat experience. It is. Uh, I, I've it got is. the I've had okay. the Quest 2, but again, after a while, just having that huge hunk of machine yeah. on your face kind of takes away from it. So once they get it down to like eyeglass, sunglass size, I think it's going to take off. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I, I think that's the right way of saying it. The Apple's going to make a lot, money, a lot more money elsewhere for mm -hmm. the time being. All right, Rob, thank you as always, and we'll chat with Rob again tomorrow, so let him know if there's a product like Vision Quest or anything else you want him to chime in on. Facebook, Twitter, you got his handles, you also have his email, rob at robblack.com.